Hi guys, N7ECV here with an episode of Talking Shack. So this time around, I really want to address Bluetooth connection with the ICOM 705. Uh, some options that I found have worked and some options that I've wasted freaking money on. I'm not going to lie about the... Uh, a few times <laughs> uh, so anyway hopefully you guys can avoid blowing the money like I did and uh, I'll get to uh, showing you some Bluetooth options that have worked well for me with the ICOM 705 thanks for joining me okay first up ICOM 705 as of right now with the current firmware supports uh, HFP HSP, SPP, and LE Bluetooth profiles. That being said, it does not support, that I've been able to find anyway, it does not support any options out there with the PTT profile with it. And I'll explain more as we go on. Uh, so first up is my BT-89. I've had this for a few years. I've mocked it to the 7300 and uh, when I got my 705 in, I literally, it was plug and play. I uh, put this in parry mode, connected it to the 705 and poof, it was there. I hit the transmit button on a dummy load and it keyed up. I didn't have to do anything to make this BT-89 work. The BT-89 is the same Bluetooth microphone that is now sold for QIT uh, two meter mobiles. So it's got a little dongle and stuff with it. You don't need the dongle for the 705 at all. It connects directly to the 705 and Bluetooth pairing. Works fairly well. Has a decent uh, uh, transmit audio. As really crappy receive, it's just, it's full of artifacts. If you're in a noisy environment, um, it, the noise doesn't translate well. It's very um, difficult to explain other than it's kind of crappy. Um, not the best receive audio, but functionality, it does good. 30 foot range uh, all around the yard. I can get out the shack out this window out here and go hang out in the backyard and still communicate with the 705 with this setup here. I can make it into the kitchen and still communicate with the 705. Uh, so the BT-89 microphone or the like, it's a pretty simple setup. It'll say QIT across the top up here nowadays, but they all tend to say BT-89 on the side or on the bottom there. It does have a non-standard charge port, which kind of sucks. Um, it's a USB to like a 3.5 with a weird pin out on there. So if you lose your charge cable, you could be SOL. You got to be careful with that. Uh, but I'll show you what it looked like on the uh, scope for SDR control in the iPad here. And hopefully a good representation of what the audio sounds like. These are all going to be on the settings I'm using for the uh, ICOM. And uh, I tend to run it fairly low. I've got my mic gain at 11%. And my compression at three. So my compression is actually a little high for this test. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, you'll get somewhat of an idea what the transmit's going to look like on the scope and sound like. And then hopefully I'll give you a good representation of the audio. So uh, BT-89 first, okay? November 7, Echo Charlie Victor testing the BT-89 Bluetooth microphone test one two three hello radio n7 ecv testing all right so there's the uh bt89 i use that it's my workhorse kind of just it's my microphone for the icom 705 i'll be honest i've hardly ever used a hand mic and i've gotten fairly better reports with the 89 than i have with the hand mic uh, tracking down record audio is a pain in the butt sometimes but uh we'll do what we can up next is the soundcore life dots I'm not sure they're just little earbuds that i happen to own uh and happen to use on a fairly regular basis um but anyway i um tested these just on a whim to see if they would connect they do connect the next two options i'm going to talk about do have one 
kind of con to them, there's a delay in the push to talk at about millisecond, maybe two. Um, so the sound core and the bows both, you, you would activate push to talk the same way you would activate answering the phone. And it's just with a click, little bit of a delay. Uh, but anyhow, they work well. I do like these for crowded environments and when I'm trying to be a little more incognito, I guess, to where you are not can't really tell behind my beard that I've got earbuds in. Uh, so those work well. So we'll give an example of what they look like on the scope in the uh, SDR Play and uh, maybe a, hopefully a good representation of the transmit audio. Check it out. This is November 7 Echo Charlie Victor on the Soundcore Life dot earbuds testing one two three n7 ecv test 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 hello radio okay so next up is the bose headset this is an old headset i've had for a while i acquired it uh, uh, from a, a good buddy of mine actually uh, but uh, anyway i've had these for a long time they're really old and beat up i don't even remember what model they are but I figured, what the heck, this was the first headset I tried to connect to them. And sure enough, uh, plug and play connected right up to the 705. Um, great receive audio. Decent transmit audio. The microphone on this one's rather hot. If you hit transmit and sit in my shack, I can hear somebody in the kitchen. Um, so the, the gain on this uh, microphone itself is rather, rather high. Uh, but anyhow, that's half the reason why it's turned down on the radio. Um, so we'll show you a representation of the audio here, uh, at least transmit audio, and uh, do the best on, on receive audio, at least for uh, the one that sucks anyhow, so you can kind of hear the difference. There is a push to talk delay on this one too. You hit this little button here like you're answering the phone, and uh, it just takes a millisecond there for it to kick in transmit and to release transmit on this and the life dot both. So you have that to kind of contend with, but other than that, uh, a headset that's, that's, you know, wireless is, uh, what can I say? It's fun to have in the shack. So anyhow, let's take a look at what the Bose looks like, and then uh, uh, we'll wrap things up here with a little bit of information. This is November 7 Echo Charlie Victor testing the Bose headset on the ICOM 705. N7 ECV test test 1, 2, 3. Hello, radio N7 ECV. Before we jump into specs on the stuff that worked, we'll talk about stuff that didn't work. Uh, the NESEC U, I don't have that one anymore. I returned it. It uh, would connect, but no audio out, no transmit. It was one of the ones that had the same profiles, but also had the PTT profile. I really was hoping that one's going to work. It's got a really cool charger. Um, would have been a really neat setup there. Uh, but the NESEC U microphone does not work at this time with the ICOM 705. And the, I guess this is supposed to be two-way radio, two-way radio. I don't know. Anyhow, this one did not function properly. So it connects to the 705. It has phenomenal receive audio I wish this would work uh, but it again also has the PTT protocol to it uh, which in some ways like on phones and things are a separate push I am um, I attempted to connect this one to my AnyTone and it, I, I failed at that too so I'd probably have to look into it. this one which should work with the AnyTone if I really got into it anyhow uh, the NESEC U did not work function at all. This works as a great speaker and in Vox mode. I could get this to work with the 705 in Vox. So if you're in a quiet environment, um, 
that might be doable. I did not do a test of the transmit audio on this at all because it's just not something I'm going to use. Um, but uh, there may be a project with the Raspberry Pi or something else that this might function with, so I'm keeping one of these around. Anyhow, don't go blowing your money on the two-way radios or two-way radio, whatever the hell these are. And don't go blowing your money on the any sec use. They don't connect with the 705 right now, and they're just not... Um, I don't even think in the f plans for the new firmware updates. So if you bugged uh, uh, ICOM about getting the PTT protocol in there, that'd be great. It'd really give us better options. But for right now, you've got the BT-89 or the like of the models there. Uh, it looks like most Bose headsets will work. And the Soundcore Life Dots are like 20 bucks. So, you know, and these work fairly well and they look okay on this scope. Those are Bluetooth options at this point for the ICOM 705. Uh, I've gotten great reports with them, and I enjoy using them. Again, the BT-89 just got crappy receive audio. I wish the BT-89 sounded like this Tway radio. This thing sounds phenomenal. It's like having a nice radio speaker next to you. But uh, anyhow, uh, things pan out the way they do. I did the best I could to represent a little bit of the receive audio and it actually didn't sound too bad I probably should have stepped away a little bit and got some better artifacts in there um, So the the BT-89 again is still my workhorse and, and kind of what I enjoy taking out of there Like I said, it does have that uh, non-standard charge cable the volume up and down works sort of. They're kind of like you got to hold these buttons down. They don't really respond very well. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to turn it on. Other than that, uh, I know there was a comment about a Roger beep. There is none of that. I hope I was able to prove that that way. I think that necessarily goes through the dongle. Although you do hear it beep when you key it here. Uh, but that's letting you know you keyed the microphone. I'm not sure. Anyway, there is no Roger beep going across the air with the BT-89. Uh, the Tway radio, great little microphone, speaker mic, works on Vox. Great receive, no real idea about the transmit audio. I didn't test it. Uh, probably could have, but I didn't. Uh, but uh, fun for future projects. We'll see how that comes along. The Bows and the Life Dot are there for what they are. Man, when I'm at a, a crowded park and for Poda or any other environment where it might be noisy and I want to hear well, even uh, just sitting anywhere in, in, in you know on a parking lot somewhere sometimes I'll use the headsets they do have the uh, push to talk delay the Bose has a non-common auxiliary cable which blew my mind that kind of sucked because I would uh, use that for another application uh, but anyhow they work good I would say you'd have to adjust your mic gain quite a bit uh, to make those ones any of these really function the way your audio uh, or people might be used to your audio sounding uh, but you know microphones are fun to play with and Bluetooth options are great to have around the shack I can do stuff around the shack and I can still respond to somebody uh, with the Bluetooth options and it doesn't have to be some crazy high-priced uh, setup out there uh, those life thoughts were like 20 bucks but thanks for joining me guys we're talking shack here with N7 ECV the best we can anyway and uh, catch us for the next one. I'm going to try and uh, prove to you why I added Bluetooth to the ICOM 705. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining me. We're talking Shaq here at N7ECV QRP Live. See you around.